Yeah. They're actually all my friends. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so a big hero to everybody. Thank y'all for coming out here. So my name is Hak Jin Kim. I am a South Korean born in the United States by two Korean parents. I don't miss you. Anyways. So, I feel a little bit of pressure right now because you guys have to give me a little bit of a break here. This is my first time ever on stage like this. I'm gonna put myself out there. So I'm, buy, you know. so I'm kinda used to pressure. And it's actually in my name. If you were to break down my name, it would read Hakjin Justin Kim. Now when you translate Hakjin, what that actually means is Scholastic Star. <laughs> Scholastic motherfucking star. What the fuck were my parents thinking? I'm not even fully formed yet. I'm inside the womb. Then they give me the middle name Justin because my dad, he was afraid that while he was yelling at me, me being a Korean son and all, would bite his tongue when saying Jonathan. And most people don't really think about that, but you go through it and you're just like, it's Jonathan. Okay, cool. So they changed it to Justin, which translates to, which you guys should know because it's fucking English and all. No, I don't know English. Lawful, righteous, just. So basically, what they're expecting is, on January 4th, the day that I was born, that I would, from a fetal position, pow, I have jet! Come out, just like a lawyer. But no, instead, under all that pressure, I dropped out, started doing drugs, started drinking a little bit. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Who else is lit right now? There you go. I'm really fucking lit right now. There you go. A lot of Asian love there. Anyway. Anyway. Come on now. Don't make me break out that language on you, man. I swear to God. It will sound like pots and pans falling on the stairs for like three minutes if I do. So I might be a little bit lit right now, but frankly, I gotta tell you right now, I don't know if it's really common, I don't know if you guys know very many Asian people living in fucking Ellicott City and all work. We have colonized very heavily, along with Columbia there. It's kind of our town. South side of the best So, I love smoking marijuana. I'm pretty sure it's... There you go. I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty obvious. I'm wearing my... My, my green, black, red, and gold Bob Marley shirt. I've got everything else coordinated as such. My eyes are small as shit right now. They're always small as shit. I see in 16-2, super widescreen, exactly what the Ten Commandments was, saw, was shot in. Right? I have excellent peripheral vision. Which makes me a great driver, but I have nothing up top and down below. Which would make me a horrible pilot, frankly, because I wouldn't be able to see shit anyways. Anyways. <laughs> so. Oh, shit, fuck. Where the fuck am I? Hold on, hold on. Short-term memory issues right now. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're just going to keep talking about weed because I'm comfortable with that talking about weed. <laughs> so while my name translates to Scholastic Star, Just Lawful, at the same time, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lazy, man. I'll be honest with you. All that pressure from the time that I was like this big to like this big, it's kind of gotten to the point where, frankly, I feel kind of anxious in front of a bunch of people unless I've been high. I feel kind of weird in front of people unless I've been high, in which case I feel even weirder anyways. And then I start getting into my own head as an introvert, and I start narrating myself. And I think this couldn't get any fucking weirder <laughs> at all. I'm just sitting here, and it's getting quieter and quieter, and I'm getting a couple chuckles here and a couple chuckles there, and Liz is in the back, and she's still continuing to talk. Because she's pretty fucking drunk right now. 
And then I remember that one time that I spent thirty dollars at a Seven <laughs> Eleven. I only bought one pack of cigarettes. And this is kind of how it went. As David Attenborough. Here we have a prime example of the Asiatic stoner. More difficult to identify than the standard stoner. The Asiatic stoner conceals the level of highness it feels through smaller eyes. Now, the Asiatic stoner leaves his home for one of two reasons. Two quiet Doritos or to acquire more marijuana. <laughs> Upon finding a very appropriate, well-appointed feeding ground, typically a 7-Eleven, he will proceed inside, survey his surrounding for the grounds, and then commence to take roughly two and a half hours <laughs> to select exactly what he wants to march upon. <laughs> In the end, typically, the Asiatic stoner will buy everything. <laughs> One of everything. Along the entire aisle. Between the coffee and the Doritos. After upon filling upon his full stock of Doritos, will return home. Engorge himself upon said Doritos. Smoke more marijuana and then attempt to play StarCraft or League of Legends, not realizing that he's not a very good Korean. <laughs> and frankly, his actions per minute is probably down to about 10. Passing out in the middle of the match and never being accepted into any group, organization, or team. <laughs> and that was my, uh, that was my dividend for right back. <laughs>